Astrid Lindgren, born in 1907, grew up in the Swedish countryside. She loved stories. She would often listen to them from her grandmother. Astrid's childhood was filled with nature and imagination. She would often make up her own stories. Astrid began her writing career later in life. She worked as a secretary and a journalist, but she always had a passion for stories. In her late 30s, she wrote her first book, Brit Marie Lightens Her Heart. It was a success. Astrid continued to write. She wrote about children and their adventures. Her stories were full of imagination and heart. She became one of Sweden's most beloved authors. In the 1940s, Astrid's daughter Karin was sick with pneumonia. Astrid would tell her stories to cheer her up. Mum, can you tell me a story about a girl named Pippi Longstocking? Astrid, always up for a challenge, began to weave a tale. Pippi Longstocking was no ordinary girl. She was strong, independent and fearless. She had bright red hair, freckles and mismatched stockings. Pippi lived in a rambling old house with a monkey and a horse. She had no parents to tell her what to do. Astrid wrote down the stories. She gave them to Karen as a gift. She also sent the manuscript to a publisher. At first they rejected it. They thought Pippi was too different. But Astrid didn't give up. She believed in her stories. Finally, another publisher took a chance on Pippi. The book was an instant success. Children loved Pippi's rebellious spirit and her sense of adventure. Adults admired her strength and independence. The popularity of the Pippi Longstocking books led to a 1969 movie and miniseries. These Swedish productions brought Pippi to life for a wider audience. Actress Inga Nilsson perfectly captured Pippi's mischievous charm and adventurous spirit. The movie and miniseries were faithful adaptations of the books. They featured the same whimsical humour and heartwarming stories. Children around the world fell in love with Pippi's on-screen antics. She became an international icon. The success of the 1969 adaptations cemented Pippi Longstocking's place in popular culture. They introduced a new generation to Astrid Lindgren's beloved character. The movie and miniseries are still enjoyed today for their charm and nostalgia. In 1988, Hollywood released The New Adventures of Pippi Longstocking. This musical adaptation starred Tammy Erin as Pippi. The film aimed to introduce Pippi to American audiences. It featured catchy songs and colorful visuals. The reception to the film was mixed. Some fans appreciated the attempt to bring Pippi to a wider audience. The musical numbers were praised for their energy and fun. However, others felt that the film lost some of the charm of the original Swedish adaptations. Despite the mixed reception, the new adventures of Pippi Longstocking introduced a new generation to Pippi's adventures. It also sparked discussions about adapting foreign stories for American audiences. The late 1990s saw a resurgence of interest in Pippi Longstocking. This led to the creation of an animated movie and TV series. These adaptations featured colorful animation and a more lighthearted tone. They really appealed to younger audiences. The animated movie and TV series were successful in introducing Pippi to a new generation. The animation style captured the whimsical nature of Astrid Lindgren's stories. The voice acting brought Pippi and her friends to life in a new way. While some purists preferred the live-action adaptations, the animated versions of Pippi Longstocking were praised for their accessibility and charm. They introduced Pippi's adventures to a wider audience. Sailing the South Seas Pippi's Adventures on the South Seas, 1999. Pippi's Adventures on the South Seas, a German-Swedish production, was released in 1999. This live-action film featured new adventures for Pippi and her friends. It took them to exotic locations and featured stunning visuals. The film was praised for its beautiful cinematography and sense of adventure. However, it received criticism for deviating from the source material. Some fans felt that the new storyline lacked the heart of Astrid Lindgren's original stories. Despite the mixed reception, Pippi's adventures on the South Seas demonstrated the enduring appeal of Pippi Longstocking. It showed that her adventures could translate to different cultures and settings. Astrid's legacy, a farewell to the storyteller. Astrid Lindgren passed away in 2002 at the age of 94. 
Her death was mourned by millions of fans around the world. She left behind a legacy of beloved stories that continue to inspire and entertain children and adults alike. Astrid Lindgren's funeral was a national event in Sweden. People lined the streets to pay their respects. They recognized her immense contribution to literature and her impact on generations of readers. Astrid Lindgren's legacy extends far beyond her books. She was a strong advocate for children's rights and animal welfare. She used her platform to speak out against injustice and promote kindness. Pippi's future on the silver screen, a new generation of adventures. The future of Pippi Longstocking on the silver screen is full of possibilities. A new Hollywood adaptation is in development, with a potential release date in the mid-2020s. Fans are eager to see how Pippi's adventures will be reimagined for a modern audience. There is speculation about who will direct the new adaptation. Some rumors suggest that Greta Gerwig, known for her work on Lady Bird and Little Women, is a top contender. Her ability to capture the complexities of female characters would be a perfect fit for Pippi. The new adaptation has the potential to introduce Pippi Longstocking to a whole new generation. With the right director and cast, the film could capture the magic of Astrid Lindgren's stories, while also offering a fresh perspective on the beloved character. The enduring magic of Astrid Lindgren, a legacy of imagination. Astrid Lindgren's stories have stood the test of time. Her characters, particularly Pippi Longstocking, continue to resonate with readers and viewers of all ages. They remind us of the power of imagination, the importance of kindness, and the strength of the human spirit. Pippi Longstocking is a timeless icon. She embodies the spirit of adventure, independence, and rebellion against societal norms. She teaches us to embrace our individuality, stand up for what we believe in, and never stop questioning the world around us. Astrid Lindgren's legacy will continue to inspire generations to come. Her stories remind us that even in the darkest of times, there is always room for hope, imagination, and a little bit of mischief.